So let's move to the next one, which is Elisha's bones. And you know the story where a man was being buried. Uh, I'll go ahead and read the passage. It's from 2 Kings 13.21. It says, And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, that, behold, they spied a band of men, and they cast the man into the sepulchre of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood upon his feet. So, so Roman Catholics look at that and say, even in the Old Testament, people recognized that the bones of the dead had power. And therefore, relic veneration. <laughs> so, hey, uh, the, the scriptures are clear. You know, a man was uh, touched the bones of Elijah and was revived and stood upon his feet. A dead man was brought back to life. But the question I have is, what had they done with Elisha? What did the Israelites do with Elisha's bones? Did they put them on display? Did they line up and kiss them? Did they burn incense to them or put candles there or kneel before them? No. It says right there in the scripture. He had already been buried. They buried Elisha's bones. They did not expose them for veneration. So no, you can't look at Elisha's bones and say, look, relic veneration. 